Hello, welcome to Card Minds. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be a general reading for the sign of Aries for the month of August 2021, or whenever you stumble upon these readings and you feel the messages are for you. Let's see, Aries, what messages you have for this month of August. Eight of Pentacles. All signs are up for the month of July. Soulmate readings, career and money readings, if you're interested in taking a look at those. I uploaded them pretty late, so they might roll right into the beginning of August. Aries, August 2021. Sticky Aries for August. St the Strength card. Aries. Seven of Cups. Nine of Wands. King of Swords. Aries, August 2021. What messages do we have for Aries? messages we have for Aries. Aries, you're being secretive. <laughs> Ten of Pentacles, the Lovers, Aries. What messages do we have for Aries in this month of August? Four of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, and the Devil. Okay, Aries, you have one, two, Three major arcana in this month of August. You have the devil, the lovers, and the strength card. Um, why do I think, Aries, that there's a love, passionate love story going on? Now, I'm not quite sure, but you do have the lovers and the devil and that is a uh, a lot of chemistry there a, a connection a passionate connection a, uh, um, really really intense connection with someone but we'll pull more cards to see exactly what's going on there because the lovers is also it's not only connecting it's also recognizing one's values recognizing who we are and wanting a connection and wanting to connect with people it doesn't always have to be romantic but wanting people to see you for who you are to see you for your values your boundaries and really who you are and because you have the strength card right above the lovers i i really want to say that you're also working uh, on your new path, your new career, you're working, um, eight of pentacles, working very hard. Um, 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 you're very good at what you do. You're very precise at what you do in your, in your job, in your career, in your work. And you're working very hard at pushing forward, um, 
something, something probably that has been a little tricky, a little confusing. You have the, um, the Seven of Cups and the Nine of Wands saying that you're persevering in a path. You're persevering in a path you believe in. You have clarity in. So I have two stories here. There's a lot of pentacles. One, two, three, four, right? King of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. Moving in to this um, financial comfort, working hard at it, working, working very hard at it, Aries. You're very good at what you do. People come to you for your advice. You, you, you are, you know, um, you're very skilled at what you're doing, working, working very hard at honing those skills even more. You're bossing up strength. You want more. You want, you want more. Um, you want bigger, you want bolder, you want to make more money, right? Who does it? But here you do have the Ten of Pentacles. You're pushing forward to have harmony and in your family, um, financial um, stability in your family and abundance. The Ten of Pentacles is abundance. You're making money. You're bossing up to make money. Now, maybe within this... Um, um, transition situation. You've saved your money. It has been confusing. You had a lot of offers and I think you've had offers from people that you didn't, you know, that weren't really very trustworthy. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of projects, a lot of things going on, a lot of things you're doing. Uh, you're probably maybe meeting a lot of people. Um, but not everything's panning out, right? There's a lot of nonsense in there. But within that, there might be a little jewel there, right? There are jewels there that you are very good at. In there, there's a project that you're very good at. In there, you're, there's a, a connection. Um, uh, you may, you maybe you're partnering up with someone, right? But you're really, really um, saving your money, uh, strategically managing your money and and you're you're get, you're really comfortable financially Aries this is a really good reading and but you it has been hard it has been confusing because maybe you were in another career before maybe you're transitioning to another job or maybe you're still in that job but you want to do other things right and you have other propositions you have other options other opportunities but you're still very good at what you do, hanging on to, you know, maybe still having, um, uh, being paid by that job, right? But you're, you're, there are other temptations, there are other things you want to do, a lot of, a lot of things you want to do, but you're holding on to your money and you're, you're, you're comfortable financially. So I think that whatever you were doing before, whatever your career is, it is something that is financially secure. It is abundant. You're making, it's, it's a good salary. And, the strength is there that you, there, just to say that you want to move on up. You want to um, um, make this better, uh, push forward in an even better situation, an even bolder situation. So whatever you were doing before, you want bigger, you want better, you want to make more money. Who doesn't? But this is, you, you have... Um, because it's a confusing time in your in your life and it's a confusing time for all signs so don't feel alone in that we're all in transition every single sign has this huge transition between july and august and probably through september um figuring out what you're going to do figuring out what the next step is going to be making those bold decisions making those choices it's choice time it's decision time we don't have it here we'll pull more cards but whatever you're, this is, this is overcoming the strength is the courage and, and, and the determination to power through into these new options and figure which ones are for you and to make sure you're not stung by certain of them, right? And it's overcoming the obstacles and, and just having the stamina to push through and the stamina to, to make more money and boss up and you're you're committed you're really committed to what you're doing you're really committed whatever options you choose you're extremely committed and you have this personal power right to to, to just um 
persuade others to go your way to you know um you're, you're very diplomatic you know how to speak to people you know how to wiggle your way through and make this happen so whatever you want here whatever this what whichever opportunity is best for you you're pushing forward let's figure out if there's um um uh, a love a romantic connection within here i can see there's something going on let's see but you are as you push forward through these energies and the confusion and you know sticking to one job but having other opportunities and our options and maybe wanting to change careers um you 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 see clear you see clear you push forward and you um you're sort of really confident underneath right you're maybe you're not showing it maybe you're not showing it to these new people for the uh, that, that you connect with for these new opportunities might need a, meet a new a new environment a new work environment a new you know uh, a new career something completely different something that you might have never done before so maybe inside you're pretty confident you're pretty strong right and and even if you're stressed and it's a rough time and you're doubting and you you really have to push forward and power your way through you're not showing people that the struggle if there's a struggle you are powerful on the outside and you're you're and but you're you're also confident on the inside but you're not showing overconfidence you but you're you're seeing clear you're seeing clear all right, let's let's pull some more cards to see exactly what's going on, Aries. Why is this Eight of Pentacles here? What are you working on, Aries? What are you working on, Aries? Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Thank you. Yes, you've been waiting. You've invested in something, Aries. This can This is a little bit of a career uh, reading. Doesn't have to be because we'll pull more cards for, on the lovers and the devil to see what that passionate situation is all about. But the seven of uh, pentacles is you. You've invested. You've invested a lot in this opportunity. You've invested a lot of your time, a lot of your money, and you're waiting. You don't worry. This is coming around, and you are going to. Um, um uh harvest the fruit of your labor you are going to, money is going to come in but yes you've worked hard and maybe you've been waiting you've had to be patient maybe this is a new career for example and you're you're still in your own career and your your old career but you're you're touching on other ones you're figuring things out you're trying new things you're meeting new people right and you and you're 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 um you you put you 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 put a lot of stamina a lot of um energy in um in these new opportunities and uh, but it's coming around because this is bringing in uh abundance this is bringing in money um aries all right why is the strength here clarify the strength here for for um aries i you're seeing clear oh, these cards are flying out they're sticky or they're flying <laughs> One moment, please. Thank you. Yes, yes. You're 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 powering through. You have the uh, King of Wands. King of Wands is someone very optimistic, um, uh, very business savvy. Someone that transform things. That, you know, uh, dreams, not dreams, but ideas into reality. Someone that gets the job done. That someone that that can identify opportunities and turn them into, you know, financial success. Someone that knows how to make business, right? King of Pentacles, King of Wands. You are you are powerful, Aries. You are very powerful. And um King of Wands can be an Aries Leo Sag on your side, um by your side, can be a partner you're working with, someone you're bossing up with, someone you're planning, you're 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 building a new business or you're building a new career or you're you're partnering up with this person or it can be you and i really think it's you aries pushing forward powerfully because you have the king of wands and the king of pentacles and king of pentacles is you know again someone that knows how to 
make money. Someone very comfortable financially, someone that calls the shots, someone comfortable in their career. Um, it, you have a lot of powerful people around you, Aries. A lot of powerful people around you. Um, I didn't call the cards. Let me call the cards. Why is the um, Seven of Cups here? Yes. You were stuck. You were stuck. You were stuck. Like everyone was stuck. All, all, all readings, all signs have had that same stuck and transition. Stuck, then transitional moment in this summer where there are a lot of decisions to be made and until uh, up to a few a couple of months ago everybody had the eight of swords right but um you were stuck not knowing not knowing what the next step was going to do maybe not comfortable in your career needing a change knowing there is a change and not really and really stuck in that moment of what's the next step like millions of people out there and my heart goes out to everybody in this when because once this summer is over everybody has to wake up and 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 you know figure things out right figure things out and see what the energies are for you personally in this new world right so eight eight of swords stuck but now you're not stuck you you are seeing clear in what you want to do you're seeing clear in what is interesting for you the interests you have the opportunities are coming little by little it might be different people people you didn't know before this is a different environment different you know different opportunities so you're testing the vibes you're testing to see what exactly what path this is going to push you into by you know checking out all these new opportunities these new ideas these new partnerships and that is what is pushing you out of that stuck mode right it's not that you're stuck. It's not that you can't get out of that. It's that you have to test a lot of things, be curious, be adventurous, um, be bold, and try new things. Yes, look at this. And, and the Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups is creation. Ace of Cups is creating new ideas, um, a successful new ideas. And uh, the Cups are all about you know emotions and emotions are creations it can be something very artistic it can be writing it can be um uh it, it can be um uh, you can be a musician you can be an artist you can be a chef you can be these are all this is these are emotional emotional um ways to push forward not emotional ways to push forward how can i put that um the next path is emotional. That's what I want to say. The next path is emotional. And when I say emotional, it can go from an artistic point of view, um, artist, musician, writer, uh, you know, anything in that, in that, um, in an artistic world to maybe also something very caring, very social, um, because it's emotional. So, you know, a uh, social worker, social justice, helping people, nurse, therapist, you know, doctor, a, a, you know, anything, anything with people, uh, um, surrounded by people and helping people, a lot of empathy there. And also we do have the Ace of Cups and because we have the lovers and the devil, it might also confirm a new relationship, a passionate connection Aries. <laughs> Let's see. Let me pull one more card on this Ace of... Uh, uh, I feel like this one goes here. Knight of Swords. You're charging forward. You're charging forward. You're ready. Once you understand what you want and what you've... Once you've determined what, what you're... What you wanted... Um, what the next path might look like, the nick the connection, the the um, opportunities, the new ideas, the new people you're speaking with, you know, whatever it is, then you're charging forward, you're pushing forward. You have chosen and the knight of the knight of swords is very assertive. The knight of swords is um uh wanting to wanting things to move fast right once you understand what you want once you've made up your mind you're pushing forward fast 
Now, um, let put let me pull one more card on this Ace of Cups to see if this is a relationship here that you're pushing fast, <laughs> that you're moving forward. Um, you have the 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 High Priestess and the um, Page of Swords. So my idea is that you are starting something completely new, something um, something that is intellectual something that it's new ideas it's new ideas but they're budding new ideas and 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 the high priestess is there to say that you know go with your gut feeling what i i know it was confusing before and you had a lot of opportunities we're talking to a lot of people a lot of ideas and right left and center a lot of people wanted to start up things with you because you are very powerful you you know what you're doing so whether it's your the same um work um uh idea the, in the same environment i don't know but you know in your gut feeling you know that you're you're on the right path so once you choose once you feel you're 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 guided towards one path that is the one to go on uh aries that follow your intuition follow your intuition and it's starting, it's starting, the Page of Swords. You have the Page of Swords and the Knight of Swords. So you go from the Page of Swords to the Knight of Swords. Pushing forward, pushing forward. So, swords about intellect, right? Making choices, making decisions, seeing clear, discussing with people, understanding what the right path is and 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 uh, organizing yourself in your mind in, in, in this new life, new path seeing what it looks like and you, you're there's a lot of messaging going on there's a lot of messaging going on and it is a new path it is it look the you're going from the page you from the page to the knight to the king so starting new but moving very very fast right so whatever you if you for example uh, were in one career and started meeting people, being interested in something else. Let's say, for example, you are uh, um, uh, an accountant. It's just an example. You're, you're an accountant and you're still in your career. You're still working, but you know you don't want to do anymore. Uh, you, you know it's not for you anymore and you want to shift. You want to change careers. But you really don't know what you want to do. But along the way, you meet a lot of people and you're discussing it. And, and, and these people have a lot of ideas and come to you for, for, you know, for advice or just discuss a lot of things. And because you are clearly, Aries, a powerful person. And I say accountant, it can be anything. I'm just giving an example. And you are discussing new ideas and wanting and and all of a sudden discovering that's a lot out there that you're interested in you're adventurous and you're creative and you're 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 connected to people you're connecting and connected to people that probably are going to change your life so you are you know little by little guided towards this new life this new career because you connect with these people and you really like what you do so for example you're an accountant and all of a sudden you're 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 talking to people that do social justice right and you really get involved in social justice and and in your town in your city in your environment you're discussing with people and and you're you're doing social justice and that is what really you're you're guided to do you really enjoy being with this these people you connect with them and this is probably something you want to transition into and i say you have the the page of the page of swords going to the knight of swords going to that um um uh king of swords sorry all in one deck here saying that this is a very quick ascendance right a quick transition and really really guiding you to develop really develop in this new in this new career in this new environment beautiful aries it's really it's really very interesting 
and but you've invested a lot along the way maybe you know a side job or people you connected with or just friends right and and little by little it's growing on you and this is something you're really interested and you really want to do so you might be leaving your job to transition into another one with these new people you really connect with because you're seeing this you you're feeling your gut feeling you're feeling that this is really for you Yes, this came out before I didn't, I put it back in the deck and it's now it's now it, and, and, and it came back. So as you are pushing in this story with these people, yes, this put you in perspective because it's so cool with these people and you're really enjoying being with them and connecting with them. It put you and you're still doing your job, right? And you put you into that soul searching moment. Oh my, this is like amazing. I really love this. I feel it's it's fulfilling and 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 um I feel there's a sense of community and I, I feel like I'm helping people and it there's it, it makes sense to me in my life. It brings sense to me in my life. And this is put putting you guiding you to really go within go within to see what your values are see who you are and if you want to take on this new adventure this new challenge that really brings um fulfillment to you and you have the choice card two of swords needing to make a decision needing to choose a path needing to choose a path but whatever it is aries it is bringing harmony in your life, stability in your life, and long-term financial security. But it is a choice. And all signs have, in all readings, have had this choice to be made in this month of August, or July, August, September. These are bold choices, bold life choices. Why are the lovers here? And people are seeing you for your value. That is what you want. You want people to connect with you for you, for who you are as a person as a humanitarian, as a, your values, right? Who you are. All right, let's see. I have cards that flipped over. Yes. Yes, and, and it's really, I think about that. We'll pull more cards on the devil to see if we still have a, a love story in there. But this is something you wish for. You wished for, you know, no more bullshit. Maybe the job you were in, I'm saying accountant, it can be anything. Maybe it was a social in social media, right? In social media. And um and 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 you're done with the people, done with the bullshit. Maybe things didn't go well. Whatever situation it was, whatever career or job you had before, you had enough of the people. However, it went wrong, or they didn't have your back, or there was a problem at one point, all right? But you're still there, but you know you know that you're wishing to get out of that bullshit and to get into something true, something honest, something uh, really, really um, uh, fulfilling, right? And uh, this is something that you it's important for you. So you're making choices. You're making choices. You're making a decision. You've strategically managed your finances all these months. Oh, I didn't call the cards. Four of Pentacles. Why is the Four of Pentacles here for the sign of Aries? Why is the Four of Pentacles here for the sign of Aries? Yes, yes. You're comfortable. You're celebrating with friends. You're comfortable with these people. You feel aligned. You feel aligned with these people. A true connection. A true connection, which you didn't have in the preceding, or you didn't have anymore, or you didn't have anymore. You're celebrating these, these connections, these new people, this new environment you're in. You're really enjoying it. Why is the King of Pentacles? You're enjoying it. You're comfortable. You're financially comfortable. You're 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 the you're you're powerful, Aries. You're powerful. People are really counting on you. Uh, you're trustworthy, and they come to you for advice. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Yes. Wow. And you you go. It's a, it's pretty amazing because you really have started. I think. 
whatever this thing is, comment down below if this if you connect with these energies. Really comment down below. I read all the comments and I I love hearing from you because let me know what you're doing. Let me know what's going on because you go from the from the uh, Page of Swords to the Knight of Swords to the King of Swords. So you go from the very beginning where this is something you've never done before. You're very new at this. You're discovering, you're discovering the people, the environment. You don't really know what's going on. And you just take off, right? You're, you're bossing up in this new this new job or, or thing you're doing. And then you go from the Page of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles to the King of the Crop, right? The King of the Mountain. So... Whatever you're doing with these new people, whatever you're doing in this new choice, you are going from the very beginning of learning, you know, uh, uh, apprenticing to boss, like in two seconds. Wow. That's pretty amazing. Now, why is the devil here exactly? I'm curious. Why is the devil here for Aries? Hmm. You had hopes, you had wishes. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, you had hope, you had wishes. Oh, and we have the devil again on the bottom. Um you had your hopes and wishes were not to be in that toxic <coughs> in that toxic um element anymore. Toxic element being maybe that toxic job. Maybe the job you had before became toxic. Maybe the job you had before people didn't recognize for your for who you were anymore. Maybe in the beginning they did, right? And maybe slowly this, you, you weren't, you know, it wasn't balanced out anymore. And people didn't see you for who, for what you brought to the table anymore. And your hopes sort of, um, I'm going to pull one more card, your beliefs and hopes in this situation sort of dwindle down to this toxic situation, toxic, you know, sort of codependent, uh, but not a, not an unhealthy situation. Clarify this, um, this, the uh, star card, please. Clarify the star card. One more card. If not, we will just go with messages. But anyway, you're bossing up big time in this new new opportunity or new it's 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 really crazy, Aries. You're you're really becoming someone very important in this new venture, new adventure, new venture, call it what you want. Yes, and clarity and clarity. Yeah. Yeah, you you had clarity and, and I think you your hope you had disappointments and your hopes were like sort of let down you're let down from people or you know you you you're just at the end of the road of this this uh, career or whatever you were in before realize that it was sort of uh becoming a toxic situation and you realize it you understand it that's why you went out and um threw those feelers out for those new opportunities and met new people and and along the way you really contacted a lot you know you 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 developed something amazing whatever it is whatever it is Aries comment down below let me know what's going on because you are bossing up in a new total new adventure but it's going very quickly ah but hard work okay very quickly well it, in the cards, it looks like your ascension, your ascension is so quick. You, you know, you go from page to king in, in no time, um, but you've worked very hard. It looks like you've invested a lot. You've worked very hard. You've helped people and you're very skilled at what you do. And you're doing it methodically, meticulously, and you're very loyal to these people that have opened up a, a, a door for you. You're very loyal to them and you will... You will get the job done. You're you're dirtying your hands and you're you're putting your hands in the mud and you're making things happen. And whatever they ask you to do, you're doing it. You're being humble. You're being humble and loyal to these people. <clears throat> beautiful, beautiful reading, Aries. I hope you enjoyed this reading, Aries, as much as I did. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe hit the bell. Apparently that's really, really important. Comment down below if you connected with these readings. Again, all signs are up for soulmate readings and uh, work and career readings in the month of July. I did upload them a little late, so uh, you might want to take a look at those. And next up will be soulmate readings for the month of August. Take care, Aries. Bye-bye.